Hey guys, it's your girl Najim P. Lee for NajimLee.com and it is the day. I'm super, super excited. Um, I am so sorry for the delay. Um, for some reason, our live streaming mechanism is not working. I was trying to troubleshoot it and nothing is budging, but that's okay one blockage we'll go to the next one so i'm recording this for you guys and then um it should be up and you can view so i'm so sorry for the delay but that's okay um today is thursday 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 and what does that mean well first of all it is mental health awareness day worldwide and a perfect timing because I get to drop my new book for all of you, every single person watching um, gets to uh, learn about my new book, hear about my new book, see my new book, and also buy my new book and it's all available and i'm going to put a couple links and talk about a couple links where you can get it immediately because um I'm offering a 15% discount today, so you've got to go and get it today, all right? So let's just, like, talk about the book. Look at this, guys. This is the 6x9. The book is called Kali, Kill Anxiety, Live Immensely, um, The Secrets to Removing the Illusions We Believe When We Are Anxious. And if you've ever been anxious and just really... Um, or deal with it, um, especially with this book, I speak really deeply on generalized anxiety issues, um, anxiety disorder, and also how the goddess, the Hindu goddess Kali Ma comes into play in this and how everything synchronizes. Also, to let you know, this book is also a, it's a mix between a workbook or a textbook um print and so as you start as you begin to read you immediately begin to work on self and that was the whole mission for this book and i get into that a little bit more um and uh this was just amazing it was a just a doll to like put together and make happen for you guys and so um a couple of things <clears throat> before i get even started to go get your discount while we're talking, um, go get it right now. Go over to lulu.com slash spotlight slash Najam Lee, N-A-J-A-A-M-L-E-E. -E. All right, and the link is below. Or if you want a signed personal autograph copy from me personally, then go over to NL Art Publishing dot us again that's nl art publishing dot us and the link is below so <clears throat> i have both of the sizes here this one's my favorite um they're both my favorite like this can just drop into a nap pack really quickly this as well this actually can fit in my messenger bag um where i put my laptop and stuff this but what i i love big stuff okay i love when it's nice and big and roomy and i can write all over it i can dive into it i can really underline the way i really want to without squinting and so i love this book um this is about it's about 90 pages, 90, 91 pages, so to speak. I try to stay in the nine bracket around there, 88, 90 bracket, um, the way I wanted to do this because I want this to be able to, for you to work immediately and immediately work on you, right? There's so many books out there and I love books. I love the smell of books, the taste, everything of it. Um, but what I notice is with a lot of books is that I have to wait until I get to a certain point to really get something out of it. And for me, I don't got that much time. <laughs> I like it. My patience is like, man. And so for me, I was like, oh, I must not be the only one out there like that, you know? So for me, as soon as you start, you jump in, you, you start working on yourself. There is no like, 
um, you know, waiting until you get to midway or whatever. No. So just to give you um, an example of that. So the chapters are really short and to the point. I'm that type of girl. Short and to the point. Get to it. Help me out here what I'm going for. So in the beginning here, um, one of the chapters is called Carly and Me. It's a short chapter. Um, but I go into the definitions really quickly, what the words I'm using, especially specific words that I'm using, um, and why, right? Really simple. And my whole thing is simplicity. And then we go into chapter, the first part here, Kali and Me. And this Kali and Me is this basically, um, which I'm going to read and give to you guys like a briefing of it. Kali and Me, I wanted you guys to know that it was not just me alone on this journey. It was me and the goddess Kali. And how she came into play in my life um, was really big and how this book came about was really, really big. So do me a favor before we keep going. I want you to like this video right now. You like what you're hearing. Also, um, I want you to share it. Grab your friends, your your family, your coworkers, whoever, even your enemies, okay? Have them read this book or check out the video. Um, so click the links and share the links on Twitter, YouTube, um, Facebook, wherever that you are right now to share this. Please do. I appreciate it. All right. So let's continue. Um, so, so I want to start with, to introduce with you guys is that for me, anxiety disorder comes in through an illness that I have, which is sickle cell anemia SS. And if you don't know what sickle cell is, it's basically in a one liner. <laughs> it's a um, blood disorder where it has a lack of oxygen flowing in the red blood cells, which creates excruciating pain throughout my entire body. And this is what we call a chronic illness. There is no real cure as to say, okay, this is the cure and it's going to be like one dose and boom. No, nothing like that. So um, there are different variants of sickle cell disease. One of the variants I have is called SS. All right. And so um, with sickle cell and going through chronic pain like that, you gonna go fatigued, have a bunch of anxiety, um, stress, depression, um, low self-esteem, um, worry, worry constantly all the time, all kinds of different things, right? So even if I'm not in pain, the medicine that we take or just throughout our day, our bodies are so sensitive. They're seriously like thermometers, very, very sensitive that we go through so many triggers throughout the whole day. And so anxiety is always rampant, right? It's always there, always trying to um, maneuver the day, so to speak. So um, and when I was younger, I really didn't know that was part of it. I just heard, oh, she's petite or she's a bit anxious or whatever. But no one really explained to me. And so um, it wasn't until diving into the study of this book that I was creating that um, I really got a deep, and I mean deep. I went all the way down that rabbit hole of myself. I had no other choice because the way Kalima came into my life um, and brought me this petition, so to speak, or uh, yeah, petition, landed it into me and said, you're going to do this. Okay, you're going to write about this. You're going to make this happen. So, um, so this is why in the beginning, this particular page is so important Kali and me when you read it and so I'm going to read it to you um, so that you can hear what I mean so uh, handy dating glasses because your girl is blind like ugh, 
if I keep it on, y'all, you know, I gotta keep it on. <laughs> All right, so Kali and me. To start, let's quickly get a feel for who and what is the goddess Kalima and why she is so important to your healing in this book. In the Hindu and, tra and Tantra traditions, she is referred to as a great and loving primordial mother goddess, also known as the Kalika, Shyama, and the black goddess. She is recognized for her black skin and long red tongue, one of the seven tongues of Agni, which is the, the god of fire. Around 600 CE, she is mentioned in the Devi Mahatmyam text as a warrior goddess, the supreme power and creator of the universe. Darkness within darkness, the mother, the formless one, the great power, Mahakali, removing the darkness from every single individual who works toward the path of one's own perfection and performs the spiritual principles of purification. Black and black and black, so too Kali stays in complete darkness, taking away all darkness. And I thought that was so poetic. Um, how that came out, how beautiful that came out. And then on the next side, you see a picture of her. Um, in this particular um, copy, it is black and white with a full cover, um, a full color cover. So right here, okay, good. So right here, it's um, this beautiful picture of her. So in the bigger book, so you can see, uh, the color, how how rich it is. Um, this is her, the the how big it is. I just love this. And when I put my hands over her like this, I feel her energy. So one thing about the books, especially for the ones that are um, are, if you order the ones that are personally signed by me. Um, what I am doing with each book, especially those who ordered the pre-order, during the pre-order time, your books are here. They finally arrived. Also, all the stuff that's going to go in them finally arrived today as I'm making this video. And so, um, yeah, what's going to happen is the they are infused with her energy and there's a, um, a a magical ritual that's done for each of the books and so when you receive it um especially these um all you have to do is just have her in your presence and you will feel her you will feel her energy you will feel her her presence sometimes it's subtle and as you go through the book it can you can feel like there's fire and there's probably no fire around or sometimes you can feel seriously like a freezing chill and um like all of a sudden like there's no heat but it's like you're sitting on ice so it can be from one extreme to the other of her energy and what she's bringing, but it's almost like a little um, coming in. And I just love it. It's just powerful and beautiful. And that is one of the gifts she is giving to each and every person that um, gets the book, um, her presence, her energy coming into your energy into your presence and I think that's just such a beautiful gift and so um just to see it in color I love this all I have to do is just wow and it's just amazing to me just really amazing how she's here <laughs> so how did how did this happen Naj? I know you guys are like how did this really happen like how did she get involved in all this so um so anyways, once you read, once you go through you, the next page of this is now you get into chapter one and then there's chapter two. You see how easy, really simple this is. And um, 
we're going to get into that. But um, I also want to say thank you. I have to say thank you to many, many um, human beings <laughs> that are uh, here and that are that have helped with this book. Um, and I want to acknowledge them right now. So I did do an acknowledgement page. And so I'm going to read it out to you and explain with each one. So the first one is to my mom and dad who have given me great points of view from the many areas of their lives, which gave me the opportunity to learn from. I appreciate you for letting me be myself in totality. Thank you. My parents, even though that they're divorced, their lives and I, I sometimes I feel like a fly in the wall because I really listen and just observe them, even with their subtleties of who they are, how they express themselves, how they um, reason with things, what they say, um, especially with my mom and just learning her more and how her anxiety has affected her life. And writing this book allowed me to even understand her on a deeper level through anxiety. And the type that she deals with is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. And um, and that was because of a major car crash that was very traumatic for her. And oh, she doesn't mind me sharing this. And um, you gotta be hearing more from her because of the audio book I'm putting together. Uh, she explains her story with PTSD and I'm super excited. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So look out. Um, it's going to be hopefully by um, winter time is the goal to have the audiobook out for you guys. And it's amazing because I'm gathering stories from others and um, I'm still looking for those that want to share their story with um, anxiety disorder whether it's OCD, PTSD, GAD, SAD, um, whatever, OCC, whatever it is um, that you would love to share your story, just leave a comment below or email me at studios at gmail.com and that will be below as well, all right? The other person I want to acknowledge is my daughter, Imani. Um you hold so much knowledge and wisdom mm -hmm. in your tiny frame. <laughs> your heart is ever flowing of love. Thank you for your input, advice, and nightly support in creating this project. I have learned so much about values from you, and I am honored to be your mama in this dimension. Shukran. Uh, amazing spirit. Young young adult <laughs> amazing spirit amazing insight sitting at her feet and listening to her speak you know whether it acts for her advice her wisdom her insight it's immaculate sometimes i feel like i'm talking to someone very ancient very old coming from I don't know, like she comes across as if she's 400, 500 years old. And I've been saying that to her since she was a little girl. Ever since she was born, the first thing I noticed about her were her feet, her tiny feet. But they had a presence of like, she's been around, you know, like you can see the wisdom through her feet. I don't know how to explain, but there's wisdom there. And... I always it has been memorized, mesmerized about that with her. It just tells me about her walk in her life, in the realms that she's been um, traveling through, right? And how much and how she sees the world totally different, you know, um, very different. She has a very observancy about her. Um, almost like a scholar, I would say, like a scholar. Um, the next person that I um, want to acknowledge is my loving gurus. 
and I've had many of them. So let me l list them out. I've had so many, but the ones that I highlight is um, one of them is Light Miller or Jyoti Miller. Uh, she taught me a lot about Ayurveda, aromatherapy, and um, she and her husband. Also, I uh, had one, some of them I forgot their names. I'm sorry. Um, that happens sometimes. Uh, she's from Germany. She's, she taught me a lot, um, especially when it came into um, Ray Energies and, um, and also uh, Melchizedek. Um, I'm also looking at um, my other gurus. Uh, what is your name? Oh, my God. Uh, taught me so much on the chakras, um, of diving into the chakras. Um, and then I have also uh, my other guru, Nityanda. Um, uh, Nityanda, uh, he, his teachings have taught me a lot of diving more into myself, completion. I have to say... I don't care what any person may think or feel, you know, when you are on a certain plateau and you are coming from another world and you come into this place, people will misunderstand you and mislook at you in a certain way. Um, what each person brings something and maybe they're there for you for a year, 10 years, five years or whatever, and then they move you they, they leave your path for you to move further. And I continue to go, um, he allows me to, which is great, is that I learn as much and then I go, I go live it. And then I come back and I learn again and then I go live it. And those are years in between, but that's what I appreciate with um, Nityanda, uh, Swamiji. And his presence has been immaculate, and I'm grateful to him. The last person that um, I have been learning from, and she's the same way other people misunderstand her or, you know, or whatever. But what I love about her is that she expands her knowledge, right, beyond cultures, right? So she's, she's Indian, but she's also seeing and she understands, hey, we have a linkage into Africa. We have a linkage into um, other parts of Asia. We have a linkage into Europe. They're, they're, uh, I love this about this woman. But she has this basis, of course, in Hinduism, right? Um, but she expands herself. And I love women and, and teachers and men who are scholars like that, that really expand themselves and um, work work it. So her name is in here, Mashivani um, Durga. Mashivani um, Durga, I am so grateful to you. You guided me to learn all I can about the Hindu goddesses, which led me on a path to my connection with Kali. If it wasn't for her, she sent me an assignment I would say three years ago, which was to dive into all the Hindu goddesses. That was my homework for, and that's a lot of goddesses. So she didn't give me a time frame, whatever. She's like, that's your, those are your assignments. These are the books. Some of the books I just could not find because I'm here in America. I probably could find it if I'm in uh, uh, India, but um, and I'm going to India very soon. And, sh you know, I'm putting that out there, inshallah. I will touch the ground in India one day. Um, but she she sent me an assignment. And this assignment was to go study all the Hindu goddesses. And there's a lot of Hindu goddesses. So this that never-ending study. But I went through... And the one that I really connected with, I, and I didn't know I was going to connect it, is um, Goddess Durga. Goddess Durga, Goddess Kali. Like, I really got pulled into their spacing. And I appreciate all that I've learned um, 
on this path. So, namaste. Thank you so much, much. But, yeah. Um, and then to all my beautiful, wonderful clients, past, present, and future clients, yes, you, you have helped me to grow in understanding, patience, and incredible insight. I thank you for sharing your world with me. It's an honor to serve my clients. I am honored. I am honored that you pick me. I am honored that you trust me. I am honored that you even listen to me um, and you get something out of it. It transforms you. You are able to have the strength and ability to transform your life. And I am so absolutely grateful to each and every being that I've touched. I've touched over 800. I know it's gone into the thousands right now of lives online, in person, in written form. I am absolutely grateful to each and every being that I've touched with my presence, my words, my insight, whatever it is. Shukran. Um, and so this book is the best thing ever go and get it right now click the link below get your copy um the information in here is so unbelievably valuable for each person i worked through the information in here um and i had to do that in order to bring it to you and now we can get into how i met and linked up with Goddess Kalima. This goddess is powerful. So, Kalima, one evening, woke me the up. <laughs> I'm here at my desk and I was working and I decided to go upstairs. I was getting tired and I went upstairs to lay down and I drifted off to sleep and then I was shaken like to wake up. I thought it was my daughter waking me up until I opened my eyes and it's beautiful. I mean, beautiful black being looking down at me. And she says, use my name. And I'm in sleepy mode, like, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to get up and like looking like, yo, what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I'm looking up, I'm like, what? And she comes over again, use my name. And then she goes. And I'm like, use your name. What the hell does she mean? What? And I've learned over the years. When it comes to certain ones, like, I'm not saying not to question or ask questions or whatever. You can. But I don't overdo it, especially when I'm given an assignment. And um, I may not understand and I may sit on it until information more information comes to me or whatever but i don't go over well, what you mean how you think you are you know you just come no i don't do any of that i don't disrespect or anything really 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 obedient and i just fell back asleep so days gone by maybe almost a week um and this time she comes to my desk late at night and I could feel her presence because now she's squeezing me, right? It's almost this, I don't know how to call it. I can just describe it as a squeeze. And she comes over me and she says it again, use my name. And I was just like, I don't understand to use your name and what? And, um, and how, like, I don't understand. And she releases a bit me a bit more. And then she comes back. She's like, 
now I'm seeing things. So my third eye opens and now I'm seeing situations in my life. And she's like, you've gone through this many times and you still go through this. And she's showing me scenes of me going through anxiety, right? And having anxiety episodes. And some of these, I'm just like, nobody else knows about this. And I didn't think this was pertained to this or whatever. And she was like, she repeats it again, use my name. You've gone through this so many times. This is what it is. So to give you a bit of backstory, my um, my publicist, uh, I had a meeting with her almost two years ago. And she was saying to me, you know, Naj, you need a product. You need to share your knowledge more. You need to get out there and share your knowledge more. And I was like, all right like cool you know i had some ideas i was working on another book which i'm i'm going to finish and drop it out and she was like you know is this what you need to put something out there that's really going to help more people and so that's where that's what I was thinking on of doing that because I was working on it. I was going to the library, I was doing a lot of studies, I was also working on a non profit at the time as well that I haven't told really anyone, and I was also working on um, just other programs um, to bring to you guys because at the time I was I did drop Om Sacred Circle. You guys love that. And you know what? Om Sacred Circle 3.0 is coming. Look out for it. Om Sacred Circle 3.0 is coming. Om Sacred Circle of Protection. And this is going to be phenomenal. You guys are going to love it. But I digress. More of that to come. Um, and so... I just went about it, left that alone. I didn't think about it because I was working on this other book. And so when this came into play a year and a half ago, or more than a year and a half ago, she was like, you know, it's almost like I did stop what I was doing with that. And then all of a sudden I go into focusing on anxiety. And then I just dove in. I just started researching, getting more, reading books, I'm reading websites, blogs, um, articles, going on all the anxiety disorder organizations, reading up, diving in, diving into myself. What does this have to do with Kali? What do I need to know about you and using your name? And what what are you trying to tell me? And I studied up on her because she was one of my my assignments, right? So I went, I'm studying on her. I dive really deep into her. And then it's almost like a click. Like, oh, wait, you deal with this. You deal with anxiety. This is what you're talking about, the mind so much, right? Clearing out the mind, purification of the mind. You really deal with this. And then she was, she was like, <laughs> squeeze me again. Use my name. And she gets louder now. Use my name. And I was like, all right. And she was like, no, like this. And she's like, kill anxiety, live immensely. That. And I was like, boom. And so that was really incredible i did not even think of any of this like what like oh oh yes that makes sense that's what you do you kill anxiety this is what you do and i was just like break it down mama break it down and um so the book comes about and i'm like now i'm like it's like downloads, downloads, downloads. I am not joking. Like downloads, downloads, downloads. All I can't keep up. I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. I'm up, I'm up. And I'm just like, shh, shh. some days I don't really eat. Some days I'm just like, I'm in. 
I'm exhausted. I'm just writing, 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 writing like crazy. And so, um, and then like, I was like, okay, I really want to do this really good. Like just guide me, guide me to who, where, what, how, why, what info needs to go in here. And I'm telling you, like, I was writing this and stuff, and I was getting close to, you know, when it needs to get to um, publishing. And I was like, I wasn't sure if I'm going to get, you know, other people on, on board, like the editor or whatever. But I did go get an editor, uh, which is great, editor and a copywriter. Um, and that was really helpful, really put the book into, like, a flow that I was really, really excited for. Um, but yeah, there were some people that were just like, mm, really? Oh, wow, everybody now talking about, I didn't care about that. I was like an internal vision and I know what I was bringing and I know what she was just like on me. Every single day that I wrote about on this book, um, I was not alone. Kali Ma would be here in the presence with me and I'm just like, all right, research and just doing it and bringing in what she wanted. If something wasn't right, it would come out. It wouldn't go. It wouldn't fit. I was like, all right, da -da -da, you're going to do this. This is how you want, how we want to do it. So a part of me is also like, you know, I don't want, I want to be able to dive into the book immediately and start. I don't want to wait. She's like, to the point, that's what we're going to do, and that's what we started. So when you go into one, two, and three, and you get in, boom, the first assignment's right here. Boom. And you get into it next week, and even before this, right? You get in it, yep, even before this. This is number chapter three, you get into it. Boom. And then go all the way through to the end. And what's great, at the end, um, I'm offering the um, some really good, like when you're going through an anxiety um, situation, you are, you are, um, you have some extras here. So there's puzzles that I included in this. Um, so there's crossword puzzles, word searches, stuff of that nature in here something where you and, and then extra pages for you to write and doodle put a little note so the notes are at the back here and there's several pages my whole point of this is you take this with you every single day wherever it is have this in your purse your your backpack your messenger bag your car have a couple copies right one at home one at work because we stress out at work we stress out at home we have anxiety at work we have anxiety at home this is why this is so essential you grab it and you go just to hold it because the energy is right here it's like and no other book is like that. No other place is like that. No one is talking like that. No one put two and two together like this and bringing it to you. I was chosen to do that. I am a vessel for that today and bring that out. So no one else. That is why I am talking so powerfully and so strongly. And I believe in this. I stand with my book because this is a partnership between Kali Ma and me bringing it to the masses. And that's it. There's no other way you can deny it, change it, whatever. This is what it is. You're going through um, generalized anxiety disorder. This is a book for you. And so I do break down um, what generalized anxiety disorder is. And I'm going to read that to you so that you have um, an understanding. So I break it down in two places in, a, in several different ways so that you can look at it within your own life. And so break down what anxiety is and I break down what generalized anxiety is and so um, and what the symptoms are. But let me give you the definition, which is a chapter of itself. What is GAD? God. Okay. Yes. God. <laughs> um, 
generalized anxiety disorders characterized by persistent and excessive worry about a number of different things. People with GAD may anticipate disaster and may be overly concerned about money, health, family, work, or other issues. Individuals with GAD find it difficult to control their worry. They may worry more than seems warranted about actual events or may expect the worst even when there is no apparent reason for concern. Um, and then I go into the, the some of the symptoms and um, links to it as well. Also, I want you to know, we as women, women experience it more so, double um, than men, which is really, really powerful. That's really important to really show that a change has happened in our society than it was, say, 100 years ago, okay? Change has seriously happened in our society in 2019, going to 2020, that our women are stressed beyond the clouds, literally, excuse me. And it something has to change, right? Because we're handling way too much and way too over and there's constant pressure, constant information, just too much is overly saturated, overly pressured onto the minds of women and men, but especially women. And then for ones who are mothers, especially stay-at-home moms or moms that work, moms that are entrepreneurs, we have this feeling of guilty, feeling guilty, and this is an anxiety, feeling guilty for being a mother, feeling guilty for being an entrepreneur, feeling guilty for having to travel for work, feeling guilty for leaving your kids for two hours to relax. I mean, relax, we are feeling guilty. That's anxiety. That's a constant worry. That's a unnecessary stress. Feeling guilty for taking a break. Feeling guilty for sitting down and not wanting to cook dinner for that day and, and rather order. We're getting pressured by our partners, partners, whether it's your husband, your your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever it is, and feeling like you're not good enough. You're not doing enough. There has to be more, 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 more. And this is stressing people out. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you guys again um, and why this book is so important. My background in this, I'm a spiritual life coach. I'm a health and wellness consultant. I'm an intuitive reader, Reiki master, transformational coach, and I help people with their self-discovery journey, self-awareness, self-love, getting back into self, getting your power back, really discovering where your power is and getting it back. And so this book is so important to have in your life because it is not only breaking it down what's going on but it's also going to give you the tools and strategies to overcome it and begin the healing process the and you're it's basically you realizing what's really going on and going through each part and be like oh my god okay when a situation you're so aware you're becoming more aware like oh i know what that is oh i know what that is oh okay, I'm feeling this way because um, I am worrying about this and let's look at it really clearly. What am I really worrying about? What am I really looking at? Is this really what it is? If it's not, okay, take a breather. And there's steps for what you can do to overcome your daily anxiety um, episodes, right? Of how to meditate, what to chant, the yantra to look at, how to do that, going about. I mean, it's all in this, all in this. And I say to the point, you're not reading a 400 page, 500 page book. No, it's less than about 100 pages and that's it, right? To the point to get you where you are. So if you haven't, take me up on that 15% discount now. Get your copy right now. Um, the link is below at lulu.com slash 
uh, spotlight slash Najem Lee. Or if you want me to personally sign a copy for you, um, it'll be in this size. A personalized copy in full cover, which, oh my God, I love. I mean, look at this, guys. And the sheen. Oh my God. Okay. I'm in heaven. Okay, guys, as you can see. Um, this is beautiful. So you will get a personalized signed copy. Um, and you can get that at uh, www.not, um, sorry, www.nlartpublishing.us, nlartpublishing.us. Yo, guys, I'm, I'm just so ecstatic. This book is amazing. I'm so happy that I was able to utilize a lot, some of this, not a lot, some of the strategies um, from what I was writing with my clients at the time to really get an idea. Does this really work? You know, it's not just me, you know, whatever, <laughs> or what Kali's giving me. <laughs> no, it really works. And it's really great to see that it worked in so many of their lives while I was writing it. So, um, it's beautiful, it's perfected, and, and guys, this is the other kicker, which will be coming soon, is, <laughs> um, especially for those that want it, there's a, there's a link back in the book, you'll see, you read it, go check it out, um, where there will be a, uh, the Kali Warrior, uh, program, Yes, there will be an in-depth program. I'm writing it right now as we speak and putting it together and um, and getting gearing that up to launch soon. There will be a major program that will go hand in hand with this book, this Kali Warrior. All right, so we're bringing the goddess in. It's about bringing the goddess. You're the goddess. We're all goddesses. We're all gods. And a lot of times when we're here on this experience that we have in here on earth, we shatter the alignments that we have within us because of forgetting who we are, right? And so we go through and we link into society vibrations and frequencies that we forget or we bypass our own where a lot of times these uncontrollable situations or it feels like out of control situations thoughts how our mind goes things that happen comes in front and <sighs> makes us so anxious that we are losing our control losing our power and this is about learning how to gain it back you are in control. You create the space that you are in. You create your life path. You create it. You have the power. And once you understand, you hold the keys and how to hold those keys and use those keys, you'll see how powerful you are and that anxiety doesn't rule you. You rule it. All right, guys. So go get your copy today. If you have any questions, I am here. Thank you so much for joining me today on this live, recorded live right here on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions, again, please email me, studios at gmail.com or just leave it in the comment section and I will be reading your feedbacks, your comments, and I will contact you directly. Um, for the book, go get your copy right now and support. And also when you get it, do this for me. When you do get it, tag me, take a photo and tag me, okay? So that I can see it, share it to the world that you got Najin's book. We're creating a, um, a whole page of photos for every person that um, takes a photo buys a book, takes a photo, and tags me in it. We're making a beautiful collage that we will put up later on um, in the months to come. All right? So, love you guys. Thank you. Again, the book is called Kill Anxiety, 
live immensely, the secrets to removing the illusions we believe when we're anxious. Let's conquer this, remove the illusions, allow Kalima to show you exactly how to, and regain your power back. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. All the links are below.